Welcome back to another action figure review. In this review, we're going to be taking a look at the new U.S. Navy SEALs Automatic Rifleman made by Joy Toy. These are 118 scale figures, and this is the packaging that it comes in. It has very nice artwork. I recommend you pause and take a look at that because it is very nice. Here is the top of the packaging. The bottom. On the side. Well, these are adult collectibles. They are very fragile and they're meant for um, adults only. So um, they're really not recommended for children under three, but I don't recommend them for anybody that's an experienced collector because they are, you know, around 25 to $30 on average. And you don't want them, you know, to break within a few minutes of giving them to a child. So these are window box displays. They're very nice. Two pieces of Velcro. We do have the beautiful artwork on the inside. And then we have the uh, window box display with the figure and weapons. So I'll go ahead and get this guy out of the packaging here. They're not taped or anything. They're just shut, held together by friction. Very nice. Um, there's a product insert. Joy Joy. Again, stuff like this that you can pause and read. There you go. If you want to see the pictures, uh, there's a nice view of the figure geared down and geared up. Some information there you can pause and read. I recommend it. Some precautions on how to break down your figure if you need to. So this we'll just take off the top, slide that to the side there, and then we'll take out our figure and take a look at him. Wow, this is, I love the camo on this guy. This is incredible. Overall, a beautiful looking figure. Heard some complaints about these um, on the internet, social media, and I don't see too much saying that they're bad paint apps. I think they look relatively nice. Um, nothing perfect, but I think they look relatively, really, really nice. Let's take a look at the figure. You can see a lot of sculpt work on the helmet and just the head sculpt alone. Goggles. He has a like a little mustache there. Uh, we have a lot of uh, black here on the side. Odd devices on the helmet. Some um, darker green here on the helmet to break up the you know, the color. That's really nice. That scarf is really cool. It's like a charcoal color with a white wash on it. That looks really awesome. That's probably my favorite looking scarf. You know, I'm not a big fan of the scarves, but this one looks really amazing. Looks like a lot of new parts on this figure. That plate carrier vest looks amazing. A lot of pouches. We have some grenades there on the side. We have some pouches down here on the side. And just on the, towards the back there. We have some gear here under his arm. A lot of pouch work. This guy's all geared up to the nine. We have a med kit there. A peg on the back. That's new. I love these vests. They look fantastic. And all of the, all of these pouches. It's a new thigh rig there on the side. Knee pads. Even the new boots look fantastic. They're really, really detailed. Look at that. The tread on the bottom. Very, very nice. So let's get some nice angles of this figure so you guys can check out. I'll spread his arms out a little bit. So you can see all the beautiful sculpting. Take some time here. I really appreciate the work that goes in these. These are pricey figures, but I mean, look at the gloves. There's padded gloves. There's a watch on his wrist. That's beautiful. It's more like an open hand. That's definitely a new style hand there. It's more open hand. That's like a nice cradle hand for his weapon. If we get that range in our articulation section. Just a little bit of pink goes a long way. The camo on this is fantastic. Not sure if that's camo accurate to, you know, real life. But, man, that looks really nice. My favorite camo is green. So, this is definitely up my aisle. That thyroid, there's a lot going on in that thyroid. 
hope you guys didn't get a lot of uh, uh, Im images of this because it's like he's really worth the uh, the look. And that was really cool. Top of the head. So the feet looks, those boots are killer. Man, this is a nice figure. So let's take a look at some of the articulation. We did a quick look at all the aesthetics and all the, what this figure has to offer out the box. So for the head, the articulation, we do look up a little bit. You have a 360 rotation, feels pretty smooth. You're gonna get some hindrance there because that's a scarf. Of course, the more gear you remove, the increased range and articulation you're gonna get. Um, now the shoulders do rotate 360. They kind of go out that way because of the way the chest is designed there. I feel pretty flown on my figure. Um, it goes up about that much. Let's see what this one does. Yeah, very pretty fluent, and stick joints. Nice pocket design there. That's incredible. 360 at the elbow. We have a deep cut. It's giving us greater than 90. That is beautiful. Okay, let's see what we got here. And we get more than, well, no, nah, maybe. No, nah, so I'm going to give us a 90. This is more than 90. Um, the wrist of the ball joint style. So you have the one that kind of just roll around a ball and you can get all the positions you want. Mm, I'm kind of old school collector. I like the in and out, up and down a lot better. But, you know, they're trying to improve and you got to appreciate what their efforts are. Um, this definitely chest articulation up in here, but you can't see it because of the vest. It is a 360 rotation at the uh, waist, so, but it is so much gear, you're going to have to take it off to see and utilize it. Now, one thing I did notice out the box, even with a thigh rig, it looks amazing. It's attached here. That is definitely going to hinder your articulation for your leg. You can see right here. Moving the leg, and that's just it's rocking that, and it's, you're not going to get hardly any movement. So, I'm a big fan of sitting because if you have military characters, you're going to need them to sit in military vehicles, transports. So, you know, gearing him down, putting him in a vehicle, he's probably going to sit perfectly. Um, not sure how to cut, how thick, deep the cut is on the thighs. On the crotch there, up in here on the side of the leg, so he can get that bend. This guy here goes up about that far. That's probably you're getting. But if we remove that gear, I'm not sure if it's going. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to improve much because I think that might be sculpted in there. That's unfortunate. So you know, getting these guys into, you know, they're in the theater on their missions and uh, on the field is going to be difficult unless you have some kind of standing transport. If you go all, all in, like when you're playing for playability. Um, there's rotation here at the leg. And then there is a thigh cut right there. It's hitting pretty good at the pocket. That pocket's literally this section, not that ball there. Um, double joint knees. Fantastic. Feet pivot down. They do pivot up. They will rotate 360 around the ball. We have a toe articulation. Very cool. Get the side to side, obviously, too. Wow, this is pretty cool. Okay, my impressions. Beautiful figure. The articulation. So, this is a classic case of aesthetics versus um, articulation. So, if you want the aesthetics, it's there. It's beautiful. Then you're going to have to remove some of that beauty. If you want to get the articulation in the uh, playability to increase because of it. So it's going to be on you as a collector on what you like. And how you play with your figures or if you display your figures um, may not be an issue. You just want them all geared up looking beautiful. You, you're ready to go outside the box besides just throwing a couple pieces of gear on. I'm going to go ahead and see what kind of weapons we got. Here we have a assault rifle, black plastic, and they paint the green on 
I mean, that's amazing. I love when you throw the same colors on the weapons as the figures. Kind of gives the weapons ownership. I'm a big fan of that. Nice sculpt. I do like this. Looks fantastic. Wow, he really holds that assault rifle beautifully. Look at that. With both hands. You guys can see his fingers underneath the gun. That is a nice resting hand on that weapon. That looks beautiful. Now, of course, you can get it in different positions. I just basically wanted to show you guys how well he holds it, but, you know, with both hands in a single pose. Very nice. Kedosuke has a very large machine gun. Same kind of paint apps. Looking fantastic. Sculpt. Nice handle there. Now, the only thing about this weapon is it has a very small ammo box that we're used to seeing for some of these uh, large machine guns. Um, here's, for example, this is a Hasbro version of a large machine gun. We have this large box here, but you can see that it's not missing on this gun. Because you see the shells, maybe, you can see the shells right there. Going into this little black box. So that's definitely a different take on it. Very small um, drum for a large machine gun, which is fully automatic. Obviously, you only need a nice space to disperse all those um, bullets. But they took a different approach on this and created a very small, um, maybe modern, I don't know if it's modern style, um, more compact. Um, drum but it's interesting and again absolutely perfect holding look at that and I'm going to say the hands that come right out of the packaging receive the weapon perfectly I'll show you real quick check this out so I get it out okay you ready see how we have the trigger finger there and basically the hands open and it's basically just bam you know the fingers accept the weapon go pretty much pop into place you know no issues at all of course you need to uh, tweak it to get it to sit in a firing position but um other than that man that looks fantastic beautiful I am a huge fan of the Joy Toy U.S. military figures. These are incredible. These are going to be hard to get, I bet. I do know when I was looking around today, mine kind of got held up for a while. These are a little late because they were stuck in Indianapolis for some reason for like, looking about eight days to get these from much in China. And uh, so usually it takes, you know, three, three days because, you know, they're pretty good about getting them over to you, but um, I don't know if it's because of the you know, situation going on, but man, they are definitely worth the wait. Very, very nice. Okay, he does come with um, a bag of stuff, so let's go ahead and try to put that stuff out. I should you guys can see the bottom is black container here. We have there's nothing on the back, bag of goodies here. It looks like he actually comes with a good bit of gear from some of the previous releases we've been getting. It's pretty uh, slim on the accessories. I'm very excited for these. I highly recommend these. These are incredible. We haven't even looked at the other two yet, but I'm telling you what these are. Um, it's the same buck. It just changed some different changes and stuff, but um, they're so beautiful. They're real worth looking at because they're incredible. So we have some kind of camo pouch, backpack. It's just for me the shore. Pig this that's what that pig is for, I guess, on the back there. Right there. Oops. A little small pouch. So I dropped it. 
Um, a little stiff, but it goes on. A little bit of effort. Wow, that's very stiff. I'll have to heat that up a little bit to loosen up the plastic some. That's really cool. Of course, I'll have to just get that to. It's brand new. It's on the packaging. You got to work some of these stuff into, you know, functioning pieces. That looks really cool. It's going to take his gun out of his hand because we'll be taking a look at some other accessories. Leave that hand up there. And let's see what else we got in our pack. You can see, kind of wants to sit at an angle the way the, you know, the best is. So if you're trying to stick it on straight up and down like this, it's not going to work. You need to kind of get it into an angle there. And it works out really nicely. All right, so that's cool. Looks like we have another thigh pad. Um, we're going to probably have to heat this up to get it over the leg. A lot of details, so the black military color is a little white there in a the buckle it's very cool we're not going to do that right now because you know it's just a given um look then we have two alternate hands gripping hand same color pattern we have a more of a tighter um grip there on that hand um we have a pistol very some very small pistol. That's cool. All right, I see if his hand will receive that pistol as easily as it did. Look at that. Right in there. Very, very nice. Pistol maybe a little bit small or finger too long. Kind of passes the trigger on the pistol, but looks good. So about all that black everywhere. But I'll definitely take black over any other weapon colors that you know, some silver is cool. Oh, not that off. Here we have the pistol holster. Fits pretty nice. Pouch is kind of in the way a little bit. Is that blurry? Okay, let's take a look at that. Then we have a nice uh set so pouch is right above that pistol. Kind of hits it a little bit, which kind of like pull it out. In, in like that but it sits in there it's not falling out so that's cool that's really really cool and then we have some night vision goggles force burrow look at that we have the red on the outside um, and it's like it's just a pig system to that hole on the front of his helmet so you can do like an up um, look to it. That's pretty cool. Or if you flop it over like so, you can get it to actually have it like he's using them in front of his eyes. There it is. Wow, oh, that's awesome. That's such a great feature. I am loving these figures. This figure is beautiful. I'm very happy with these. Okay, well here he is all geared up. And fantastic. So my final thoughts. Very, very nice. Highly recommend. Um, materials feel good. The joints feel good. Mm, the, if you might want to, make sure you check. Maybe throw a little heat to them just to be safe. Um, because he's apparently, well, I just checked, sold out on different places. Still pre order some places, and the prices are varying between now of $25 to $35. And my last check is now. A lot of places, like I said, a lot of places are sold out in pre-order. Um, so you have to do your due diligence and 
do your uh, classic figure hunt if you want these. But these are super awesome. Highly recommend. Um, so if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. We have a lot of fun stuff coming up. More Joy Toy. We have the new Halo coming up. Some other stuff. Um, so subscribe. Like the video. Thumbs up. Comment down below. Share the video, please. I really appreciate it. Um, if you have any questions, comments, feel free to uh, put them in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your support. And we will see you guys in our next review.